Minnesota Fighting Vikings are in some need of some off-ball linebacker depth after letting go uh, team uh, pro bowler and all-star uh, Eric Kendricks, and they got one. They got one who has Super Bowl experience, has been a multi-year, multi-game starter in the National Football League, as well as has experience with Kevin O'Connell. And also, it's probably going to be at or near the league minimum. What more, more do you want? What more do you want? So the Vikings uh, reportedly, well, they not reportedly, they announced that they agreed to terms with linebacker Troy Reader. So let's talk about the new Vikings linebacker today. Also, went to high school with Brian O'Neill. Look how skinny Brian O'Neill was. Like, he was a tight end when he got to pit. We need to run more of the t- uh, tackle eligible. Do that up. But Troy Reader, 28 years young, 6'3", 245. Uh, started out uh, at Penn State for two seasons and then took his talents to Delaware. Uh, went undrafted in 2019 despite testing pretty damn good. You know, 4'6", 340, great in the agility, great in the jumps as well. Uh, so he tested great, but, you know, small school, that old thing. Uh, caught on with the Rams in 2019 as UDFA. And also, like we mentioned, had crossover with Kevin O'Connell. Uh, was mainly a backup and special teamer, but... Aha, did start 13 games on the Rams uh, during their 2021 uh, Super Bowl run and recorded 91 tackles, two sacks, two interceptions, six passes broken up. Uh, Signed with the Chargers last year, mainly played on special teams, about 330-plus snaps, uh, and then ultimately decided to take his talents up here to the great state of Minnesota uh, this offseason. And your reader uh, throwing him into the off-ball linebacker room. So right now I think you can pencil in Asamoah as well as Jordan Hicks as your two starters. Hicks back on a revised deal. Asamoah ready to go in year two and then Troy Dye I like a lot as a utility guy special teamer etc uh, and then also got William Quenku the UDFA out of Temple last year and Reader you know, like I said he's got starting experience he's been a special teams ace uh, in the league before highly rated as a special teamer especially during their uh, 2021 Rams Super Bowl run you know knows Kevin O'Connell and you know, uh, again probably going to be at or near the league minimum so I mean what more do you want I mean it's a very good veteran uh, depth signing probably uh, nothing is probably going to be promised to Reader. I don't think it, it changes uh, the Vikings draft strategy at all if the right off-ball linebacker is there. Like, you know, say Ivan Pace is there uh, in the uh, sixth round or say Jack Campbell is there at 23. They're not going to be like, oh, we're not going to take him because we got Troy Reader. Nah, 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 nah. But I think overall, very solid signing at this stage of the game uh, at a position of need as well as... I just love linebackers, man. I just love linebackers who just scream around on special teams that do the damn thing. That's Troy Reader, man. But your thoughts are thoughts of Vikings sign Troy Reader uh, to a free agent deal. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.